So I've got a Dalek, I'm roaming around, I'm rubbish at this, um, I'm, oh, I'm already dead. Um, let's skip to one of the actual coding challenges here. Absolutely. So what we've hit is an obstacle that the Dalek can't get past, so we need to upgrade the Dalek. We need to give him hoverability uh, so he can fly over that gap. Uh, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to program the Dalek uh, with a simple interface. So we transition up to the Doctor in the TARDIS. And we've got these cyber mats that are in the way. So we can't, we can't uh, reach our endpoint quite yet because the cyber mats are going to get us. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do a sequence of programs where we're going to set the variables uh, to get the Dalek to his goal. So Rory, if you click on the Move tab, Okay, so we're going to move three, uh, but we've got our side mats here, so we're going to need to wait for the side mats to get out of the way. So if you drag your wait command onto the timeline, uh, and uh, we're, I'm going to get you to set a, a time for your wait. And then we've got to do a turn, so if you do a left turn, and that's already set to 90 degrees, that's what we want. And then we're going to move one more block, because then it'll move over. And then we've got another set of side mats. We're going to have to wait again. Again, two? Yeah, again, two. And then you hit the play button to program your Dalek and run him through. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Moves three. There you go. Your side mats are out of the way. They've waited. He moves it on. Back come the side mats. Oh, we wait for them to go. And you... Oh, we didn't move enough. Oh. We need to one more move. We so need to debug it. <laughs> we need to debug it. There you go, Rory. You should Success. program your Dalek to get to the end. And for every kind of coding challenge you do, you unlock a, a reward for your Dalek. So at the moment, we've got Hover that you've just unlocked by programming your Dalek.